today's video you're gonna learn how to make money with a flash pot that does arbitrage first thing is to create a new project folder arbitrage mev and then a file called start.js i'm gonna go fast because there's a lot of steps here so the first step is to open up a terminal go to the project folder and do npm init dash yes then install the following things you need to install to yarn at ethers at 5.7.2 and install Flashbot's Ether Provider Bundle. Make sure to join MEV DAO. We are building the best Flashbot tools and you will be able to have access to them. Once that's installed, let me go through the steps. First, we need to import the libraries and the ABIs. We need the, we, we are gonna do an arbitrage between PancakeSwap and Uniswap. We need the PancakeSwap router ABI, the Uniswap ABI, the ERC20 ABI, which is just a regular token, and the pair ABI. This is a token pair ABI. Then we need the addresses for all of these all of these tokens. I've targeted a token that I've deployed myself, and then the pair of that token. So in order to get the ABIs, you simply go copy the contract address here, go to go early and search the address then go to the contract and copy the by the abi here you see you simply click on copy you repeat that for all, all of these tokens and to find the pair contract you go to the router which is this contract then you go to read contract then you go to factory click on that go to contract read contract and get pair here you put the with address and the token address that will give you the pair contract which is where all the reserves are stored this is important so once you have all of these in go early we need to set up some wallets and providers the flashbots endpoint which is go early the private key this is your contract i mean your wallet others you use m wallet just for practicing how this works and then you maybe if you want you can use your own wallet but i don't recommend it unless you understand the code then we need the provider you can get the provider url from chain stack this website they give you three million requests per month for and uh, for free and then the double the sockets provider and the wallet so we need to create the contract for uniswap router anki router the token instance this is the token that we are going to arbitrage the token the, that we are going to watch for price differences between exchanges pair contract for uniswap and pancake and the amount to arbitrage so this is how much we are going to spend for buying in one exchange and selling it for another. So if we find that it's more profitable to buy on Uniswap, we will spend one Ether to buy the token, and then we will sell it on Pancake for hopefully more than one Ether. This is the bright priority fee, how much we are giving to miners, in this case, 2,000 Wei as the gas fee, the, tie, the tip. Chain ID and the provider, which, is, which will be set up soon. So let's begin by creating a star function. This function simply set up the provider, as you can see, it uses Flashbot spawn the provider from the imports. You pass the wallet, the provider, the wallet, and the endpoint, and that gives you the, the provider. Once that's in place, let's go ahead and get the reserves for the tokens. So what is this? The reserves are how much of each token of WETH and the token there is in the pair contract of Uniswap and PancakeSwap. Once you get the reserves from Uniswap and PancakeSwap, you can sort them by checking the order of the address and putting all the parameters in order. This is important to calculate how much, how many tokens we are getting, a specific amount of tokens. Let's go to the next step. In this case, we are going to create a new function. It's called check price at exchange. And this function, what it does is simply execute the get amount out function. You simply pass how many tokens you want to buy or sell, the reserves, which, is, which are B, A and B, and it gives you how much how many tokens you will get for one ether in this case for one ether we continue the start function with this information we get we execute the check price at exchange function first we execute the, for uniswap we pass the amount that we want to buy which is one ether one girl ether the reserves a i mean reserves a and b and uh, yeah the reserves for a and b for pancake same thing this will give us how many tokens are inside the pair contracts for both of the 
tokens in both contracts. Then we calculate the profit. How many tokens we would get for buying on Uniswap and how many tokens we would get for buying on PancakeSwap. We simply buy at the most profitable one, the one that gives us the, more, the most tokens and we sell on the other for profit, potentially a profit. Calculate the profit, we sort the, how, the amount that we got compared to the amount from the other exchange basically we are checking how many tokens you got at one exchange and how many tokens you got at the other exchange for one ether and if it's on uniswap we simply do the same we check the price that we will get for selling those tokens so let's say i buy one ether i get 100 tokens on uniswap then i i can i try again and i do one ether and i get 200 tokens on PancakeSwap. In that case, I will buy on PancakeSwap because I get more tokens and I will say sell on Uniswap because I get the tokens are more valuable. Basically, tokens give you more Ether per token. That's what we're doing here. We're simply checking how much ETH you get at the end and the profit. We are making sure that the profit that you get is more than the amount you put in. So if you put one Ether, you want to get more, let's say two Ether or three Ether from the arbitrage opportunity. Here we are showing the profit. And if the profit is negative, we don't make the arbitrage because sometimes you cannot make a profitable arbitrage. You simply skip it. Then we create a new function called prepare flashbots bundle. This function is a bit large, but stay with me. We put it below here. And what this function does is it receives these parameters. The first parameter is if we are buying at Uniswap or PancakeSwap, how many tokens we're buying, how many ETH we are given and how many tokens we are selling from the exchange and the block we need the block for the block number so we set up these variables and the first thing we do is we sort the exchange basically the first decks first decks where you buy the tokens and the second decks is where you sell the tokens the max gas fee is simply we take the the block base fee we multiply that by two and we add the bribe this is to calculate the gas and to make the transactions. So the first thing we need to do is we need to do an approval transaction. What is an approval? Well, it's simply telling us that we want to allow the contract, the swap contract to use our tokens for swapping. We make an approval to the right router, either to PancakeSwap or Uniswap, and we give it a large amount. Then we pass the right ga gas parameters and so on. We add the chain ID after this because otherwise it will fail. By the way, it's designed and then we do the first buy. The first buy, we simply execute the function swap exact ETH for tokens. We populate that transaction, which means instead of executing it right away, we just simply prepare the code so that it, it is executed whenever we want. This function requires a few parameters. The first is how many tokens we want to get at least. So if we send one Ether, we want to get a specific amount of tokens. If that amount is below here, it will not execute. In this case, we are just sending zero because we don't care about the minimum amount out. That's that's what it means. Then the path, which is worth to token, who will receive the tokens and the deadline. The value is the buy amount. In this case, it is one ether. We are buying one ether and we're getting the token to arbitrage, which is the token that I've created. Then we need to pass the gas fee, the priority fee, which is the bribe. If you remember, the bribe is here, 200 way. The gas limit and after all of that, we include the chain ID because it needs to be included later. Then we simply return all the transactions in order in an array. Go ahead and prepare the bundle. <clears throat> we get the current block, the most recent block, and we prepare the flashbots bundle with the right parameters. If we are buying at Uniswap or selling at Uniswap, how many tokens we are getting, how many tokens we are selling, then the block number, how many tokens we are buying. Then we create another function called sell sent signed bundle. We put it above start and this function what it does it's it receives the bundle the flashbots bundle and the block number why because we want to simulate the bundle to make sure it would execute without errors all these transactions in order all these three transactions the approval the buy and the sell must be executed properly without errors that's why we simulate it if we get an error we return if not we continue and then we submit the bundle with this send row bundle we send the bundle the same thing as before with the block number plus one, meaning we need to include it in the next block of the current block, the next one. We wait for this, we log the response, and if the response is correct, we simply show a, mes a message, and if not, we show the right error message. In this case, the transaction was confirmed already, or in 
for whatever reason it, it failed and we simply show the stats of the flashbots builder for your account because flashbots each flashbot builder has a reputation and that reputation allows you to submit bundles faster or slower once that is done we simply in the start function we add this code and this code what it does is it signs the bundle the three transactions that we created before that we put into an array we sign that with the provider account and execute a while loop while the bundle is not included meaning the bundle is still in process we simply get the current block and execute the send sign bundle basically we send it to flashbots every block as long as necessary until it is included so i can you can go ahead and go and go to your terminal and execute node start.js that will run the flashbots arbitrage bot this will take a while all you gotta remember is to update these variables the provider the flashbots um websocket provider which you can get at chainstack or others the private key you can create a wallet send some girly there and use it for testing purposes and then the contract addresses make sure the token to arbitrage is the, is the token that you want to watch because in this contract we are just arbitraging one token we are watching it for price differences between uniswap and pancakeswap check this out the bundle was included which means the transactions were confirmed after a while it didn't took, it didn't take long and what this means it's that we bought on uniswap one ether and we sold on uniswap getting more than one ether if you go to the gorly ether scan you can check the transaction the approval the swap to buy tokens and the swap to sell tokens you see they are both in the same time the approval is correct the buy we get we buy one for one ether we send one ether and we get 11 inu ai tokens <clears throat> then we sell those inu ai tokens for 0.69 now the reason why we are getting less ether than the amount we put in is because the code is not optimized and the price differences is not simply correct so in the real world you will want to optimize this code by making sure the profit is you know there's a, a profit at the end and this works properly hope it's been helpful and make sure to subscribe make sure to join MEV DAO. we are building the best flashbot tools and you will be able to have access to them